homestand. I'm going to cling to uh, Helixkin's performance. Uh, we lost that game in the first inning, obviously, but it was good to see him get back on track. I think he he got he uh, first four hitters went four for four. Then he he shut them down down the rest of the way. He got us into the eighth inning. So uh, I'm going to cling to that. Uh, Goodell swung the bat pretty well. Uh, that was uh, that's a sign of hope right there. And Neris uh, pitched a couple innings and looks like he's getting back on track. So those are the things I'm clinging to and going on the road and hoping we can change our luck. You obviously have done every week with this lineup in this homestand, you know, from you know, putting different guys in, putting them in different positions. With this personnel, can you hope to score more than two or three runs in a game? I, yeah, I think we can. You know, I, a lot of these guys were here last year. Uh, we played, uh, we hit better earlier in the season. So I know it's in them, and I'd like to bring it out of them somehow. And uh, all I can do is keep them pointed in the right direction and positive, keep working. And uh, you know, like I said, there's a, there's some bright bright signs with uh, Goodell swinging the bat better and Naris getting back on track, which uh, has hurt us over, you know in the last couple of weeks. But that was a, something to cling to. Um, Got to keep working. The, uh, there's a lot of baseball games left, and uh, I know we're better than we're, the way we've been playing. Easier said than done, though, to just just cling to the, the good things and not say, "Hey, there's some really frustrating things going on here." It, it's it is easier said than done. It's not easy, but you know we we still have plenty of games left, and uh, it's either that or give up. And I'm not giving up. These guys, uh, there's a lot of good. Uh, they can do some things. We proved that in the first two months of the season, and and. Uh, I'm going to just keep pushing them to, to get back to where, where they were and to improve. You mentioned that they get good counts and then have bad swings. Um, and you also mentioned a lot of these guys were here last year. Is there a flip side to that in the sense that there's more information on them out there by the other clubs and that they know what to do with them? That, that's possible. You know, uh, um, I remember when I was here when Jimmy and, and Victorino were here and they started softening up on Jimmy and Victorino, a lot of the teams, they, and they were – they, they weren't hitting the way they, they did earlier. So there's certainly a lot of information, a lot of video. We look at video. We look at our, our own guys. We look at the opposition before every game. We, we go over the, the video of the pitcher and, and look at the matchups and look at uh, what they've done to them in the past. It's just a matter of uh, somehow regaining control of the strike zone. And uh, I think something tells me we're guessing too much. We're looking for a fastball when uh, we get a breaking ball and vice versa. And that, that's, uh, that's something we got to get away from if, in fact, that's the case. Has been struggling a bit this month. Do you big, like look at the big picture and all in terms of, you know, this is a guy that, you know, come next month could be a, a trade chip, you know, for the organization. Do you think in that terms in, in the sense of wanting to see him get on track Without, without question, he could be a big trade chip for us. We don't know, you know, but uh, he's had so many good outings. He's had some bad ones, but he's had enough good outings to where I like him pitching for us. Once again, uh, three runs. We, we couldn't score four runs. And under normal circumstances, he, you know, we might have ten more, ten more wins with a better offense. We just got to get the offense going. I think that'll, that'll rub off on the pitching and give everybody a little confidence. This yes. was second, today was the second day in 10 days that uh, Tyrell, Tyrell uh, Goodell started. Do you think he's barring more playing time with the way he played today? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm looking for guys that are swinging the bat, and, and it, it's unfortunate that I have to look on a day-to-day -day basis to see what a guy's doing. You know, I, uh, I want to give him another opportunity to you know, keep doing what he's doing because he looked good at the plate today. And um, that's, you know, you either got to pick one set lineup and live and die with it or try to – pick and choose and look for somebody to get hot for a week. Uh, it's a juggling act. You know, you haven't been hitting the ball, you know, gangbusters anywhere, but really in this park you've been struggling. Do you think that's playing in the, any role? I mean, I think it kind of scored more than two runs in like the last seven here. Or something. Yeah, we, we don't have a lot of power. You know, uh, we have some, uh, but w obviously we need more, especially in, w with the uh, dimensions of this ballpark. It, it's a good hitter's park. That's what's frustrating. It's a good park to hit in, uh, and, and we're just not hitting. Are guys changing their approach here? I don't think so. Uh, I, you know, Kevin, I, as I said, I think, I think we're perhaps we're, they're guessing. They're guessing for pitches, and uh, uh, that may or may not be the case. 
describe Caesar and Freddie's seasons as, to this point? Well, up to this point, disappointing. You know, I'll, I'll say one thing about Freddie. Freddie's rooting for everybody down in the eighth, ninth inning. He, he's not giving up. He's, uh, he's into it. Uh, Cesar, the, these guys have, I think, I forget who asked me the question, but I think teams are starting to figure out those two guys in particular, and now they have to make adjustments to what the pitchers have started to do with them. They're, they're softening up. They're, they're making them expand the strike zone. And they've got to, that's what they have to overcome, the both, both of those guys. Steve, as a manager, is it hard to stay patient? Yeah, it's hard to stay patient, but, you know, the alternative is to give up, and I'm not going to give up. I mean, I like to win. Every, you know, we're all competitors, and we want to – I hate losing. Uh, nobody likes it. You know, and, in fact, I don't, I, I don't expect the players to be happy. Uh, I expect when you're losing, the players not to be in a good mood. So uh, the, the alternative is to just give up and – and keep taking it or to fight and, and come out of it. So we're going to fight and come out. What is your frustration level right now, though? I mean, you don't seem to be a guy that shows a lot of On a 1 to 10? 10? Well, 9. But I still have hopes that we're going to get back to the way we played. You know, the last two games, we were in both games. When we started the season, we were hoping that we would be in more games because the starting pitching would get us there. And um, they, you know, they did the last two nights. So... That's a start. So we're, I, I've got to build on that. I can't I look at it any other way. Is Bronco also in that guessing boat that you're talking about and also have they softened on that? I think so. You know, I, I think that's what they're doing. And, uh, you know, you've got to hit off the fastball and adjust to the breaking ball. And uh, I, I think they're looking one way or the other and, get, you know, taking fastballs that they should be geared on. Uh, that's my opinion. Veteran guy like Hellickson in the rotation with so many young arms, maybe trying to pre uh, preserve their innings, keep them a little bit lower. It's very important. You know, that's a, that's the thing I talked about yesterday. Where you're looking up, you want to look up to some somebody, and uh, you need somebody to set an example. When you have a bunch of good pitchers pitching day after day, they compete. They compete against one another, and that's what we want our guys to get to, to where they're all competing and trying to be better than the performance of the night before. Uh, Extremely important. First four batters not only got hits, they rocketed the ball, and he shuts them down for the rest of his outing. Were you? What, what's that speak to you about? What does that say to you about? Well, he did. He really, you know, there's a perfect example, Rob, about uh, you know overcoming and and fighting to 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 get back under control and not giving up. You know, he could have easily given up and just started just started throwing instead of pitching. He continued pitching. He just made a lot of bad pitches to those first four hitters, you know, 0-2, uh, uh, change up up in the zone. Uh, you know, there's a this game's mental. I mean, it, it, you got to keep yourself uh, focused, and you have to – he battled his way out of it, and he, he did a hell of a job.